To Summer Sunrise, I'm here with Ben Brewer from Slifer Smith in Frampton. He's the one that's living behind me. We have blocks of snow and ice all evolving into intricate works of art. And speaking of intricate works of art, I like the hat. Hey, thank you. The last time you came on, you didn't wear a hat, and I was, I was worried sick about you. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice looking hat. Where'd you get that lid? All right, this lid was made by my son. He actually knit it. He no learned way. his grandma uh, taught him how to knit on this little circular loom. Really? So he's been making the whole family hats. You know, it's, that you know, is so nice when, when that body of knowledge is passed on from generation to generation. My grandmother taught me how to pick locks uh, in, in Brockton, Mass. And it really is, it's a, it's a skill set that I've taken with me to this day. <laughs> now, let's talk a little bit about real estate. You know how when you, know how when, when you look, you tell your, your, your wife, or you say to your wife, do these ski pants make me look chubby? She always says no, because that's what she's conditioned to do. When you ask a realtor, how's the market? They always say, it's wonderful. But we actually have some stats that will uh, kind of bear out that truth, that the, the market is, uh, in 2012, slowly incremental improvement and looks like uh, 2013 even better, right? Well, who knows about what's going to happen in 2013. Looks like. It looks, looks like. like. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, real estate... Um, as we all know, in the recent past, has been all over the map. Yep. You know, um, you know, we had a downturn, and uh, but we've been, you know, inching our way up since then. And uh, I'm happy to report, you know, on this very show a couple times ago, right. I said, "Oh yeah, the market's doing great," and you'll hear that from you know any number of realtors. Yeah. We sort of get used to saying stuff when we, you know, when we have a feeling. Right. Uh, but today, I actually brought hard numbers for because it's the the end of 2012 yep. you know and we've had enough time to sort of uh, figure out okay how did 2012 do uh, by the numbers you know in terms of volume and transaction transactions and all of that all stuff. Right, well how to do so so these numbers come from uh, Brooke Roberts at land title yeah she's she probably produces the best most comprehensive report on <laughs> That's that's not a realtor right. uh, yeah. on on the statistics, and the reason why hers are so good is because she uses data from land title rather than data from the MLS, mm -hmm. and so it includes things like foreclosure sales and all the stuff that's recorded, uh, you know, uh, in addition to what's in the MLS. Okay. Okay. So so here's what we found: December was the third best month of 2012. Okay. So we had a good December. Yeah, and, and yep, and that's generally December's not a huge month generally. Right. So that's, yeah, yeah. that's that bodes well. Yeah, usually in town, you know, the, the hordes don't come until, you know, the dew tour. Right. And then, you know, it slows down again, and then they come back, right. uh, you know, for uh, Christmas week and then New Year's. Okay. And it usually stays until, you know, January 5th or January 7th, however, however it works out okay. that year. But anyway, uh, so December was the third best month of 2012. And that's the best December we've had since 2007. Okay, so that, okay. that bodes well. Yeah, and that so that, that was 185 transactions in mm -hmm. Summit County, representing $87 million in gross volume. Yeah. So 87 million, we sold $87 million worth of real estate in December, just December in 2012. Nice. That's a lot. That's a lot, yeah. Um, That'd be much higher than my bar bill. Oh, but here's, here's the number that blew my mind. That's up 42% from 2011. Okay. Okay, so December of 2012 is up 42% from Okay, now the would you year mind prior. if I extrapolate? Yeah. That would tell me that 2013 looks promising. Well, I thought that in 2007. And look at 2008. <laughs> or look at 2009. I mean, you know, you, 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 you know, uh, we can't be soothsayers. We can't, you know, we can't tell the future. But, but, uh, and I'm actually, you know, the reason why I'm not committing to that is yeah. because as a realtor, I can't you know, start telling people what they're going to make on their investment and things well, like that. You know that. what? I could if I was a realtor. So you're, you're, <laughs> well, you're but, burdened but, by the truth. <laughs> and that is going to be a hindrance to you your whole your whole life. Now, let's talk a little bit about people watching this show. This, I mean, look, like events like this, people want to have a piece of Summit County. And let's talk a little bit about just how Slifer does business. How do you how do you get somebody into a home and give us give us just a scenario, uh, a couple of different offerings that is even possible. The top end and low end, lower end. Well, we have a philosophy uh, at Slifer, but also within the team that I work in, which is me and my mom. Yeah, nice. I was taught real estate by my mom, and um, here's her philosophy. It's very simple. You treat people with respect, 
and you treat people as well as you would want to be treated mm -hmm. and you treat them fairly and you work hard and you give people the best service that you possibly can. Simple. Wow. What a concept. That's the golden rule. Yeah. Do on to others, you know, that type of deal. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's talk about, I uh, want to get into a piece of real estate. Uh, how much can you spend and how little can you spend? Um, there's, a, there's a home in, in Keystone right now. It's a big piece of property right at the base of the ski area. It's $11 million. I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Okay. On All the right. other end. Now, I might want to buy something for eye candy Andy over here. Something lower end, the more <laughs> befitting of a man of his lower, lowly stature. Give me a lower end spot. So, if you're looking for a studio condo, you can go, you can get something right now for $90,000. There's a quandary uh, condo that I know about right up, it, right up Blue River. Right. It's small and yeah. it's old, yeah. but it's $90,000. Well, that's and not it, unlike myself. Small and old, so <laughs> ninety thousand. So there you have it. The sky's the limit, or you can get into something for under a hundred thousand. I know in Keystone, some of the places around here, you have you ski in, ski out uh, studios for around a quarter million, two, two, two hundred, two fifty. You know, more realistically, yeah. I mean, the the entry level goes anywhere from about uh, one hundred and fifty thousand, mm -hmm. you know, to two hundred fifty thousand. Okay. And then, you know, I know of a, uh, an airport road condo. It's two bedrooms. It's yeah. non-deed restricted. It's 209000 It's on the market right now. It's not my listing, but yeah. I'm just trying to tell you, like, you know, that's out there. Give Ben a call. The number's on the screen. I can attest for his, you can see his honesty. And uh, he just knows the market, knows the community. Born and raised here. And uh, he can help you out, make this place your home. We'll be uh back with more.